the guys in this video let's see a tool called smb map and also i have written a blog post on this tool so this blog post link will be in the description box below so do check it out firstly let's see what is smb map and also we will be seeing where this tool will be helpful for us and one of my subscriber has requested to make a detailed video on the smb map and smb client so both these tools are um, samba enumerating tools so we know that the samba is uh, the samba service is present at the 445 port and uh, the smb map tool is uh, is a samba enumerating tool and we can find the port at uh, 445 and this tool is helpful at two points one is at the information gathering point and another is at the after exploitation exploiting the vulnerability it is the post enumeration activity so in two points the tool is very helpful one is at the information gathering and another is the post enumeration so at the information gathering point you can so basically this smb map tool finds the permission of the permission of the target so whether it is having a read write access and let me show that screenshot so that you can understand easily so we can see that once i enter samba smb map minus h and the target you can find the read write access the permission and uh, to further enumerate we are entering minus r so i will be showing you how to do this in few seconds so there are many information related to smb map so you can just uh, be free to come to this blog post so this link will be in the description box below and also i've given the download link to the smb map and uh, i have i have heard that the smb map tool is not working properly for many of them and uh, i went to the github the, uh, he is the writer of the smb map tool he is the author of the smb map tool so i went over to his uh, the report repository smb map so over here i i could find um, there were 13 issues and uh, most of them were like uh, there it is let me pull over the issue it is the authentication error on xxx it is not working on the target so this is because there was an error uh, in the debian machine or in the codes but anyways now it is working properly you can just uninstall this tool from the uh, from your kali machine you can just enter apt git remove and enter smb map and reinstall smb map and then only this tool will be working properly so anyways let's use our first command so let's use our default scan and the target i will be using is the metasploitable tool i don't know guys my my metasploitable tool is still on working so let me close metasploitable tool and rerun it sorry guys for the delay let me go to the metasploitable so recently i was having many uh, ctf boxes so i deleted everything let me go keep it to 138 kb let's play this so anyways you can find this tool at the information gathering part so basically the smb map is an information gathering uh, gathering tool so you can just go to the information gathering menu and move to the smb analysis and you can find the smb map over here and the smb client is not a default tool in the Debian machine and some alternatives for some best alternatives for smb analysis is the enum for linux so i have worked with this enum for linux and also with the smb map so my favorite tool is the enum for linux it is one of my favorite tools of course and i think there will be a video on the enum for linux also i have never made a video on it so yeah the metasploitable is uh, here so let's first firstly let's find the ip address of the target to find the ip address let's just enter sudo appscan minus l and the password so over here we can find the ip address of uh, metasploitable 2 so let's copy it and just enter smb map minus capital h remember it is capital h and 192.168.1.39 let's give enter 
So guys, uh, well, I'm facing that error, authentication error on 192.168.1.39. I don't know why it is happening. Let me give clear and restart my Let me enter this command again and let's find why it is not working. So we just now I was working with this tool. I don't know why it's happening like this. So over here we can find the tool is working perfectly. I don't know why it showed that uh, error message. But anyways, if you are facing that error, just uninstall that, uh, just uninstall SMB map uh, that tool or that version and reinstall it again. So over here we can find the information. So there is no perfect. Yes, now we can see it. So, so we can see all these uh, directory are publicly available on the target metasploitable tool and also we can find the permissions. So basically the SMB map tool finds the permissions and also it says that whether the permission can be enumerated or further enumerated or not. So over here we can find the slash tmp directory is having a read write access and read write permission so to further enumerate that uh, directory let's just enter smb map minus h the target and let's enter minus r and tmp and we can find further enumeration for, uh, on this particular directory so now if we want to do a post enumeration, so this is at the information gathering part. So after post enumeration, so at the post enumeration point, we know the username and password of course. So at that time you can just enter this command. So smb map minus, uh, minus u. So you can see I have worked with this tool. So I am using the metasploitable so, uh, metasploitable tool. So the username will be msf admin and the password will be msf admin and the target and let's give enter and now we can see that uh, the print is having the read only access and also the opt directory is having a read only access and we can see that the home directory is having a read write access so let's and also we can see that the slash tmp directory is having a read write access but before we i think before it was not a read write access so let me enter that command again Sorry, not this command. Okay, thus slash TMP directory was having a read write access, read write permission. Okay, that's okay. And also we can find the newly added directory msf admin and also we can see that opt is having a read only access before we can see that uh, it was a no access and now let's do a further enumeration on the msf admin directory so to do a further enumeration just enter msf admin and make sure you enter the password username and the password so the username will be msf admin and the password will be msf admin and let's give enter okay we can find all these particular informations and now you can note it down and also you, you very well know that the samba service will be at the 4, 445 port so you can see here it is available at the 445 and sometimes the samba service will be present at different uh, ports so at that time you can specify the port and uh, to specify the port you can just enter minus p i guess so let's enter smb map minus help minus h and 
where is it the specific port so you can see that the specific port so the default is 445 we all know that but if it is present at the different service or different po different port you can just enter the minus p and specify the port number and also you can see that the return the os version of the remote host so let's try the minus v command so minus uh, v so now we will be seeing the operating system of the remote host and yeah you can see that it is running unix and the name is metasploitable and the domain name is metasploitable great information so smb map is a great information tool it is a best samba animating tool and for me personally i like anim for linux and also i like the smb map tool so if you like this video make sure give a like and please work with this tool and this is an awesome tool to work with so i think this video will be helpful for you guys uh, so make sure give a like and subscribe to our channel and see you in next video guys <music>